Blakey? Huh. What? Ah, it's none. Oh, just go away. You missing your tree yet? I feel like chopping it down. We'll all be watching you. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right then. want to be left alone, all right? You care about this girl? Stand up for yourself. She'll come around. Yeah? I've been waiting. Trust me, kid. There ain't so many good men out there. Make yourself one of the good ones. Thanks, mister. I hope you're right. Hey there, partner. Hey, partner. That's a nice horse. Thank you kindly. Anyway, all the best. Bye.
Looks like hard work. Ain't no way I'm shirking my duty. Anyway, don't let me disturb you. So long. Can I help you? Hello, sir. I've, uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mick, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Sheriff. Let me out of here, you maggots! Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you gonna get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. You got any dynamite? Yes! Hook that over the bars! See if you can pull them off! What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Get out of here. 
here. Come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. I knew you were scum moment I laid eyes on you. Woman, like I said, I need to see some. Skinny, get out here. Skinny, it ain't skinny, Micah. It's normal. Oh. Oh. You always was a letdown, you oh. fat sack of crap. Oh. Excuse me a minute, Arthur.
gotta hand it to you. What the hell was that you pulled back there? Gotta be wild, all right. Wild? Making a house call in the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah, we ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. If he hadn't found us in time... Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. For some unknown reason. Whoa, there. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? Right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now, Arthur. You and me. <clears throat> Sons of Dutch. Makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes, brothers make mistakes. Now I'm heading back to my little camp around back of Strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. So you ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah. How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? Just keep your eyes open. I am. Hey. Hmm. <clears throat> Where is that little Irish pest? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Uh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they wanna trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison. Out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skelding's boys 
I'm moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well, we'll rescue Sean and we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Let's head up river and find this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I keep hearing about this woman, Heidi McCourt. Down there. Reckon those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Keep your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what you two are like. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, we should keep it down. Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Pick up the pace a bit. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Sure. All right. Let's take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, wild, Built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me.
We should do this quietly if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Get your knife ready. Keep your head down. Wait. Let's get in the river. Wait until he's got them off guard before crossing. Hold on, he's doing that. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Excuse me, dear brothers. My wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. She's the one on the left. Very successful now. Keep down. I, I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose... If I lose Bessie, I lose everything! Oh, calm down, mister. I, I, I can't! I can't! I, I'm having a fit! God damn it, Arthur! <laughs> Okay, let's get after him. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. Camps up this way. Come on. Charles, you take the right. I'll go left. Let's take these. God damn army of these. 
bastards. How much is Sean's about? Maybe we should do it ourselves. Still time. Less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all miss me a lot, but fear not, the joy's back in your lives now.
Come on, the girl. Be with you momentarily. Hello, how can I help? Good evening, sir. Good day to you. for fancy talk, eh? Raise your hands, now! Ah! Pesadilla! This is uh, very kind of you. Stop on me! Ay, Dios Santo! No, 
morir por este mapa estúpido. Come on, girl. Let's go, girl. I'll come back for you. I promise. Yep. Okay, girl. Do you smoke, sir? Sure, but <laughs> perhaps not as much as you. Oh, <laughs> no, no, don't worry about these. Actually, well, take some. Take a couple of packs. Take a few. Oh, thank you. What are all the cigarettes for? Are you heading on a long journey or something? <coughs> no, 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 nothing like that at all. I'm just interested in the cards. Okay. The cigarette cards. Oh, you got me? Yeah? Well, get them out. Let me take a look. Come on, come on. A little picture card? Yeah, I'll pay you a good price. Okay. Here. Ah, nothing I haven't got. The value is in completing the set. Sometimes I'll smoke up to 200 cigarettes in one day, just so I can keep opening the packs. I wish I could explain to you the pleasure and the pain I get out of collecting these babies. Sure, uh, it sounds, uh... Thrilling? Yeah, it is. Not to mention the vast amounts of life-reaffirming cigarettes I get to smoke. Oh, and the amount of money. <laughs> A veritable fortune, sir. Fortune? Oh, sure, sure. A complete set of any series is worth a fortune. Yeah, look at this. Gunslingers. Over here, circus freaks. Yes, yes, yes. Meow meows of the desert. So rare. I never knew. Sure. How much? Well, it depends on the rarity, sir. Oh, uh, of course. Yeah. But you know, if you ever get a complete set, I can uh, take it off your hands. And you'd pay me. A fair price. Now, you send them to me right here. Phineas T. Rampbottom, at your service. I gotta run. This is my train. Look me up, okay? Think about this deal. Only a complete set. That's where the value lies. Arthur! Oh, Arthur! 
Hey, you seem in a yeah, good I mood. I am, son. Oh, sure I am. Let's have Boy, some fun no, you tonight. Let's enjoy <laughs> ourselves. Even you we have having a party? Even Maybe. You. Just a little one. <laughs> Great. Here we go. Well, no speeches, please. Mr. Oh, McCall, back. Oh, back. So oh, everything's going to be okay. Let's have ourselves Uncle a Sean is back. Oh, and don't please, you worry, Miss Grimshaw, you old crone. Oh, I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to rip them, I will. Are you sure I'll rip on the head? And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk well, I should be getting on. Like. Okay. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, Deadeye Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I love you bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> Even you, you grumpy old bastard, Arthur. Damn it, Sean. Oh, here comes trouble. Welcome back, Sean. Mind if I join you fine folks? I owe you one, Arthur Morgan. The drinks are on me. You're looking lovely as ever, if I may say so. Imagine riding with him all the way from Blackwater to here. This stupid old... So, what now? Come on. How about a song? <laughs> He'll be drinking till dawn now, what that? Oh, Listen, let him have some fun. <laughs> He's been for a while. I thought you Irish enjoyed a party, Molly. I oh, am yeah, enjoying it. I just don't need to fall over drunk with the rest of them. You know this one, don't you? Go join in. Mark, well, what I do say that she was mistress of her trade. It was diddle, diddle, diddle all the day. I put my hand upon her toe. Mark, well, what I do say. She says, yes, ma'am, you're really that low. For the diddle, 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 diddle all the day. I put my finger on her knee. Mark, well, what I do say. She says, young man, you're rather free for the little, little, little long day. I put my arm around her waist. Mark, well, what I do say? She says, young man, you're in great haste for the little, little, little long day. Put my hand upon her thigh. Mark, well, what I do say? She says, you're getting pretty. Little, little, little long day. I put my hand upon her ass. Well, what I did say. She said, let's lay down on the grass. And diddle, diddle, diddle all day. And we diddle, diddle, did too. <laughs> Miss Grimshaw, I apologize. Excuse to celebrate. <laughs> Me and you never need one of those, Uncle. I didn't think we was going to see you again. You ain't joining in? There is little joy left in drinking for me. Okay, then. Well, I should get back to it. Yep, I'm right here. Did you miss him? I think I actually did. Ha <laughs> ha, me too. Okay, well, let's talk more later. What? Oh, all right. I'm not... I'm not quite sure. <laughs> this keeps happening. <laughs> <laughs> Will you dance with me, Arthur? <laughs> sure, but I ain't much of a dancer.
to dance. Doesn't mean we won't stop thinking you're angry and sad. That what you think of me? <laughs> sad in a good way, like a romantic poet. Well, that's about all I can muster. <laughs> Mr. Morgan. <laughs> you okay, Jose? Well done, Arthur. Uh, it wasn't just me. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right, Arthur. Mrs. Adler? Uh, not really in the party mood. I understand. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay then. That's my fault, Sadie. You alright? Yeah, it's good to have him back. Well, let's see if we're still saying that in a day or two. Well, I should get back to it. Take care, Arthur.